Oh, yeah. Now this guy, I'm just going to go down here because there's a one-up somewhere, if I don't want to go up there. There we go. Okay, that was quick. And I want to get some rings first. There's one here. Okay. So basically when you wanna, what you want to do is go to the back, do that, and uh, just, yeah, just hit this thing on his head. That simple. He does get a few more moves later on, like the spinning move, which is kind of cool. And you can actually hit hit the this little mechanic mechanism on his head um, when he does like a headbutt attack. It's a little bit risky because he can. Uh, it's easy for him to damage you if you do that, but it's it feels cool to do. I mean, we're playing a Sonic game, so you have to do stuff for style points, yo. Alright, I think he's gonna do it. No, he's doing this again. He usually does it by this point. Weird. Okay. Oh, I didn't think I was gonna reach that. Okay. He's done it. Okay, there we go. Die! Pre pre fun boss. Uh, not too <laughs> went for a ring. Not too complex, but it's uh decent enough to be fun. Like again, these aren't the best bosses known to man, but they're still decently enjoyable, I think. Space colony where Eggman is hiding. What? Is everyone all right? We should be landing oh, no. soon. The hatch doors oh, are open. Sweat it, Knuckles. This is the amazing. The cargo bay are those what do you mean, emeralds? don't sweat it? Right? Land the shuttle and let me in. Oh no! Don't touch that lever! <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. What's up with that knucklehead anyway? Trying to take over the shuttle. I thought we were toast for sure. Huh? Where did he go now? Looks like he bailed. This place looks deserted. Just two. This place was shut down fifty years ago because of a terrible accident. The first for newly spherical space colony called Ark. When it was operational, it was the most advanced research center of its kind. But looking at it now, now it's an abandoned Ark, wouldn't you say? Not much time left before Eggman fires that weapon again. We've got to hurry. Let's find the cannon and destroy it. Yeah. to be impenetrable from outside attack. It's the gun shield of Super Shield. So we have to find a way to destroy it. Isn't that a chaos emerald? It looks like it, doesn't it? But in fact, it's a fake one I created after researching the real emerald. It has the same wavelength and properties, but it's less powerful than the real one. It's designed to reverse the energy. 
Yeah, you can really tell, tell what tells her, like the voice actor and all that. Yeah, boy. Echo because reasons. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Tunnel engine. I love this music so much. Like you have no idea. Ow. Like uh, this is probably. Um. Yeah, excuse me. The the um, worst designed mech string stage, but I still really enjoy playing it. Like the music's awesome. Like I said, um, it feels good to just blow everything up here. Um, but it does have a few instances of enemies just popping up randomly. That was just me failing. Um, and like it's mainly the artificial. Ca well, spoilers, I guess, but. The enemies called the Artificial Chaos, which are basically weird blue uh, monsters, like, uh, that kind of re remind you of Chaos, I guess, I don't know. But, yeah, sometimes there's instances of, um, like, those enemies or just some time, sometimes enemies just show up. Uh, without you being able to react and you take damage, but the fact that you have a health bar in this playstyle and rings aren't your main worry, um, I don't find it too bad. Like sometimes it's a little bit cheap, yeah, but I don't think it's like it could it could have been worse. And I mean, why you tend to do with the artificial chaos, at least the ones that are on the that are on the ground, is that I just spam the shoe burn like this, so they don't have a chance to react and just do the little, uh, little punch thing or whatever. But yeah, I love this music, and I do think the Space Colony arc is a pretty cool, um, like, set piece in the series. Like, it completely, it got completely ruined in, in Shadow the Hedgehog, but, um, I do really like the arc in this game. Like, I think it has some really cool levels, like, some of the best speed, well, it has one of the best speed stages in the game. The, uh, Dark Story st uh, stage isn't as great, but, still. Oh, wait, I th think I might know what I did, actually. Let me go back. Oh! Okay. I never knew about that. Alright, cool. Let's go back. Now I know what that does. That's nice. Because I... I remember do, pressing that switch in the C's brain run, but I, I didn't know where what it did, so I just kind of ignored it. So... Right, just make sure I blow that up when I'm up here so it doesn't matter. Oh gosh. Nope. Alright, whatever. Crap! Where am I going? Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, you want to be careful when you shoot in this level as well. What I tend to do is just lock onto things, and when, I, when I'm far enough away from the obstacle for it not to affect me, yeah, that's an instance of bad enemy placement. Um, when it's um, far enough for me, I'm far enough away from it for it not to be an issue, that's when I, that's when I shoot, basically. Alright, I'm gonna go up here. And barely reach that. Because we need a... 
I think we're certainly our second and final power up for Tails. At least in terms of the main story. Could go back and get the others, but it depends. Depends if I want to do that or not. Because that's... This game, like... That's a package. This is, this is one of the beefiest Sonic games overall. Like, there's a lot of uh, side stuff to do. Like, you could be at it for hours getting 100% here. And it's a blast. You, you will definitely get your money's worth out of this game. Like, if, you, if you're looking for a game that's... Uh, that... And you just want, like, Sonic gameplay... Um, this is not going to be a game for you. I'd say get something like uh, Colors or something, or Generations. Um, and, you know, that's fine. That's up to you. But I think this, as a package, this, this is easily one of my favorite Sonic games. Because there's so much to do. So much variety. And it's a blast from, from start to finish. I can't help it. I, 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 I thought I would be, like, one of those people that, like for this game like I thought I'd like this game less and less over the years because of all the Sonic games coming out that have come out since since uh, this game but it's actually kind of the opposite I um, I actually I've actually like I actually love this game more and more the more I play it like it doesn't matter that it's like aged and it's not perfect or anything I still really love this game and like, there's not a lot I don't like about this game, really. Like, <laughs> you can call me a fanboy all you want, but, yeah. <laughs> I, did it, Sonic. I don't know what to tell you, man. I love this game. A flawed game for sure, I'm not going to deny that. I think if they uh, remade, I think it would be great if they remade the adventure games from the ground up because there's a lot of stuff they could iron out but if you ask me I think SA2 is a fine enough game I think it's a I think it's great enough as it is but I understand like it's not technically like like sound compared to like modern game it's, it's not like again it has a lot of stuff it could uh, they could iron out but I don't think it's like super broken or anything like that Alright, Meteor Herd, the final knuckle stage. Alright, I actually kind of like this. I actually really like this level. Like, it has a, a little bit of a cheap gimmick of the me meteorites, like, f flying down on you, and you can't really do much about that. But the level itself, I actually, ha I think it's a lot of fun to traverse through. And I don't really worry too much about, like, rings in these stages. Like, you don't really need to worry about rings. Like, yeah, just have one and you'll be fine. You don't need to worry. It's not like Sonic or Shadow stages where the rings are actually pretty essential to getting a good rank. Um, these stages, not really as much and I'm failing with this. This is actually kind of difficult to do. This isn't part of the actual... I'm probably just going to restart after doing this, honestly. But I'm just getting a um, another Knuckles um, power-up, which... It's kind of tricky because of how this is angled, but if I can get it right. Yeah, it's very specific as well. Like, I have the right idea with this, but you have to, like, um, angle this meteorite thing. That was... I didn't want to do a super punch like that. You have to... Like, I'll show you with this. This is a lot easier to do. Yeah, I want to do that, but with... Can I dick her? I guess not. Yeah, you have to uh, do that with this one, but it's like, because of how this is angled, it makes it a lot more difficult. I really shouldn't be taking this long with this. Whoa, like, <laughs> dude, why? Didn't mean to you, like, you have to have it on a dot, that's the thing. Okay, no, that's going to be... Yeah, no, that was bad. Yeah, I'm, this is not going to be the main run. You'll really have to do this to do get an emerald piece, I find. Okay. That wasn't even the right one. I suck. 
Wow. Okay. Maybe it's this one. Yeah, I wasted your guys' time. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, anyway, so what I did is open up this area here. And just because we took too, too long to do that, I'm going to restart. Because <laughs> that was awful. Alright. So just to make sure there's no emerald piece here. Because sometimes there can be. Maybe in the star. Oh, five rings. Okay, cool. And the only time where I get annoyed by the meteorites here is... Oh, we're getting a bleep. Already. Okay. This is going to be up a little bit. The only time where I get annoyed by the meteorites is when I'm doing the 100 ring mission. Because I, you have to be... That thing is so tight. Oh, that, that was insanely easy. Wow. Um... Come on. Alright. Uh, no. Oh, wow. We're wrecking this stage. And we haven't even used a hint yet. Alright. So, there's a hint. Or if I get another bleep somewhere here. Probably won't have to use it. Okay, get the get the rings. I can't find a hint anywhere. What the hell is going on here? Alright, is there one in here? No, there's just a bunch of spike balls. I wanna have a general idea of where I'm going. It's really Okay, yeah, that's a little bit finicky. Like going up those like little capsule things is a little bit weird. Alright, let me just go up to the top here. Alright, here we go. Jump from the star. Okay. So, it has to be talking about one of these things. So, I'm just gonna drop down. I left my hole. Or, I left my whores. <laughs> Somewhere out here? A lot of meteorites, okay. Wait. Maybe it's, um... I might have an idea. Jump with the star. Maybe through here. Okay, I think I have the right idea, question mark? Oh, yeah, 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 I see, I see. Wait, what? This one? Okay. Yeah, there we go. That's cool. Oh! <laughs> Blow up in my face. Still going eh? perfect. Very forgiving, admittedly. Oh, I'm getting A ranks so I don't think I deserve. Long time no see, treasure hunter. Would you find my emerald? That's a good one. Your emerald? Talking to you is a waste of time. Oh, be that way. Okay. Alright, so basically what you want to do with Rucha is just do a drill dive. Try to anyway. That's the best way to, to deal with Rucha. Well, that worked. And I'm... Man, this is dangerous. Get rings, please. Or just do that. That works too. 
And yeah, she does. The rival fights also do like special attacks now. Yeah, die! But yeah. Pretty easy fight. But yeah. There's only one Knuckle, uh, Knuckles and Rouge fight though, which is a little bit. Um, yeah, I, I don't know, like, it would have been nice if there was another one, but oh well. Because there's two Tails and Eggman fights and two Sonic and Shadow fights. It didn't really. The story doesn't really give it give that a chance though, so I understand why they they didn't fight again or didn't fight before. The only time I can think of is like the start of um like their fir both of their first stages when they're like, I despise anyone who takes jewels from me. But that wouldn't that wouldn't have really worked because they're looking for the emerald pieces. Yeah, SA1's version of Unknown from MA is a lot better. Well, I don't know what they were trying to go with, go for with this theme. Or this remix, rather. It doesn't even sound like the same song anymore. Time's running out, boss! Alright. Now, this is gonna be a very controversial opinion, but I actually really like this stage. I think it has a lot of interesting platforming. I really enjoy the, gim the gravity gimmick, and I don't know. I think it has a good, de uh, decent balance of speed and platforming, and the gravity gimmick is done in a way that doesn't feel like it screws up your controls too much and it works very well with the level design given like design it's very well uh foretell with the level design less built around it if that makes any sense and just eggman talking through the intercom is really awesome like the things he says like eggman is a like, full he d he's like going all out in this game and you start and that's uh, something you'll notice with this with the things he says through the intercom here and if I can just okay can I actually no I, I don't need I need a power up for that no, I'm going to the left because everyone goes to the right Oh yeah, we got a uh, special attack. Actually ignores their shield, their um, barriers, which is nice. So I'm gonna use it with this. Boom! Look at that! Oh my gosh! You can actually uh, influence Sonic's movement by uh, moving the control stick around. So, also, why is that spring there? Hey man, I'm just... Boom. Yeah, you had to deal with certain enemies a certain, a different way than normal and, you know. I think they're just a lot more fun to... I think the enemies are just a lot better for... A lot better for out. A lot more for out or whatever than the ones in SA1. Oh, 
Alright, there we go. Flame ring. Fire somersault. Now we can break these metal con uh, steel containers. But you can also do a bounce attack on them. Like, it carries over to the bounce attack, which is nice. can be a little bit scary to do on uh, admittedly go you don't even need to do that but it's so cool with this. He doesn't want to play around. Alright, let me just turn off this gravity. And... <laughs> I love that. But yeah, this, um, this room did throw me off a lot as a kid, and it's clear to see why. It is kind of confusing for an... It, will be kind of confusing for a new player, but I think it's um, a really cool set piece. So I think this is really awesome. And um, as a kid, yeah, I got stumped here and I didn't know where I was going, but I was blown away as a kid. Like, I thought this was like the coolest thing ever. So I didn't care that I was like dying so much and didn't know where to go. I, I was like just amazed and like, I don't know, I just... I just thought this this part of the level was really cool, and I still kind of do. Like I think this is a really nice set piece. Uh. Oh whatever. <laughs> no, I didn't want to do that. Okay, kill him. Sure, go ahead. Don't fall off it. Okay, I didn't even look like it didn't even look like I hit that, but okay. That works. And if we just say like, just hit this. Okay, I didn't even somersault. Bruh. Don't know what's happening with my controller though. Yeah, it's a little trial and error of that section, like find out where you had to go and all that. that was cool. But I don't know, I, I found that fun. Like I enjoy just looking around trying to find the right route. <laughs> 